Guys, it finally happened. I got scammed from Timu.com. So I recently bought this little Funko Pop figurine of Inosuke Hashibira from my, my one of my favorite shows, Demon Slayer. And it came and everything um, within just a few days. It actually did not take long at all. Let's just go ahead and take a look and see how I got quote unquote scammed. Okay, so here we have the Funko Pop. The first thing I noticed was when I looked at the box. I don't know how well you guys will be able to tell on camera, but this is definitely not a real box. It is very fake looking. It, it looks like an original box was put through a copier, and it just looks like they made a sort of look-alike box, but the colors are very washed out. I'll see if I can zoom in so you guys might be able to see it better. Um, but yeah, the colors, very washed out. Um, also kind of low resolution looking, but I figured it might have been a defective Funko Pop anyway, so I just assumed, oh, the box wasn't good, so they decided not to sell it. But then I got this guy. Now, at first glance, oh my gosh, he looks so cool. But as you zoom in, the head and the body are nowhere close to the same color at all. Also, if you look at his face, the painting is done very sloppily, and on the back of his head, there's a lot of chips like right there on the paint and everything, which means this one basically cannot be a collector's piece. That being said, all I had to do was send Timu a picture of the box and the Funko Pop and basically explain what was wrong with them. And they already issued me a refund and told me I can keep the products. So this will be going in my background, but it will definitely not be going into aftermarket sales unless if defective Inosuke Funko Pop number 875 starts spiking up in value. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.